Welcome to Honig Fag. Okay, you just need to close that down. Go back a page and go to my channel on what's up on YouTube. Hello cats, how you doing? Uh, just make sure that my intermission music... Is my intermission music playing? Top of the map. That's the thing, it was supposed to be off. The fact that you can't hear music is good. <laughs> because I've got uh, intermission music uh, for when I start the stream, but I kind of didn't bother, I just went straight on, but I thought, is it playing or not? Because it doesn't come to my headphones, it only comes to the stream. <laughs> The fact that you can't hear it is the answer I wanted. Because uh, I was going to put uh, my own music feed on in a minute as well. Oh yeah, uh, Cats, uh, Wednesday the 15th of June, uh, 7 o'clock, there's a memorial convoy to Speedy. He sadly passed away at, uh, last Sunday morning. Poor Speedy is no longer with us now. Shame, really. He will be missed. Right, and... So I'll put this music on. Right, this is Kirk and East, and this is hell. Welcome to hell! <laughs> Anything can happen in the next half hour <laughs> as we go down all the way down to uh, Slovenia. I'm not 
sure if he's meant to be there. Get out of here without any um, incident rules. Kirk and Ease is a little bit like Jewisburg right now. the Cali Duisburg and other places on the map. I mean, uh, Dusseldorf is a rod of his regular haunts. Going down that hill a bit too quick, aren't you there? Slow down, otherwise you won't make the turn. Nani? Contrary at the moment, cats, whilst I'm driving through here, because Kirken is, is not known for its sensible driving. Enzo Moon, that was a really intelligent move there, my friend. Really intelligent. Don't overtake oh, off corners. Uh, about a 4,000 kilometer run. I'm heading up down to Slovenia.
Yeah, you too, brother. You too. Have a good one. I believe I do. It's one of my usual things, it lets them know that there's an admin around. So this stream will probably only actually be this job because it's quite a long one. It's probably about 4,000 kilometers or something ridiculous like that in total. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 3,300. 3, Now should be behind us. I mean, there's no account of what's going to be coming up ahead of us, like you know, around some of these bends. So. But they come around these corners a little bit too fast because you'll look on the tabs and oh, there's nobody about. Yeah, we show the GPS as the blue dot, but we don't actually show on the tab when we logged in. So he comes screaming around the corner thinking, ah, oh, there's nobody about, there's nobody about, there's nobody about. Bang! Where did he come from? expect there to be uh, yeah, so I'm basically coming around the corner and you come flying around. But my attitude is, because I'm a professional driver, I drive a truck for a living. You drive like a dick and you don't get treated like one. to the servers, I come on to drive. Split decision on that because at the end of the day, I mean, you shouldn't be driving to what's on the tab. You should be driving to what's out in front of you on the road. too quick for some of these bends. Uh, what's this guy going to do? Is he going to be safe or is he going to pass like a knob rock? I have no idea.
so now we've got, uh, I'd say, sort of quite a good run today, so should be enjoyable. Bloody right! I mean, you're driving with a BW, you should be driving with, you know, you're driving with a BW, you should be driving with extra care and caution. In fact, under Dutch highway law, if you're driving a BW on a single lane road, not permitted to overtake. Well, I don't take pleasure in banning people, but sometimes, you know, Player base. I don't know what goes through their head sometimes. You know, what are they thinking when they try to overtake in the places that they do? A little bit of forward planning and a little bit of forward observation can save them a whole lot of trouble. careful of cats, you've just got to be a little bit careful when he's holding double trailers. You know, sure it might be fun to haul a double, you know, people might, might enjoy the challenge, but you have to be careful when and where to overtake.
Don't pass yet, buddy. No passing zone. Okay, go on, you can overtake. Come on, overtake me if you want to go. with the overtaking cats as long as you do it safely. Yeah, you do it on the right road, you do it when there's room to pass. On the CD road there's never any room to overtake. Yeah, do it where the uh, lanes permit you to do so as well. plenty of time, plenty of space. When you overtake, don't get right up to the drive to the guy you, you want to overtake. Do not get right up his back doors. Because then you can't you can't see past him to you know too safely overtake. Leave yourself plenty of room to pass. Plenty of room to see past. Jay, how are you doing? I've got a long trip today. 3,000 kilometres. We actually started up at the um, at Longy Main. So for the next hour or so, we've got to be in Finland. Finland, Finland, Finland. The place where I want to be. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm doing well. Just enjoy the drive now through uh, through Finland. I had a bit of a trouble earlier on as uh, my uh, <laughs> turn me game on. I got a bloody play and, uh, time elapse and time marker and bloody FPS thing up at the top of my screen. I don't know where the fuck it came from. I think it was part of Razor Cortex. But the thing is though, it turned me bloody registration plate. Where the text was, it was just a black light. It was a black thick bar. Like, that ain't right. And it, whatever it was, was also affecting American truck as well. So, I'm like, so it can't be a mod. Right, okay, I'll disable Discord overlay. Nope, not that. This goes in. So I had to uninstall uh, 
Cortex. And uninstall and reinstall the games. It seems to have cured it. We're just approaching the Valor now, so... I can't, can't imagine there being much more of a... Um, a run after this, because it's going all the way down to... Uh, Slovenia. I've not done a trip like this for a while on multiplayer, so it's about time I did. So we're starting in uh, Longy Bay. Catch the ferry to Kirkenese. Get through Kirkenese. And now I've got a really long drive ahead of me. AI traffic. Yep, that's usually how it goes with AI traffic. I'm not sure which is worse. TMP players or the AI? <laughs> I do not know. box today. The box is owned by Evergreen. Well, it's been protected by a professional driver, so it will not be blocking the Suez Canal. <laughs> or any other waterway for that matter. That's what I'm in today. Don't want to be Danish trailers on today, but truck today is based out of Norway and the registration means basically <laughs> yeah roundabouts are always a problem with the AI traffic because I don't think they can actually see all the vehicles around them you just kind of interact with themselves and occasionally collide with themselves you ever go down to Felixstowe on Pro Mods, they're notorious for running into each other on top set of lights by the garage. around. That's a like And this part of the world is one part of the world I can actually happily live. Yeah. <laughs> Miles away from anybody else, you know. Absolutely bloody brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Been there, done that. Brought the blue t-shirt. I was crashed into by SCS AI traffic. <laughs> oh, cats, if you are fully aware, uh, real ops tomorrow as well. I think Shaq has probably told you. I'm most likely uh, thinking about being there as well, so... Yeah, Finland is nice. Although, Austria is also bloody good as well. Now that they've reworked it. Although, 
ProMod have removed a couple of towns when they've uh, updated to one, uh, 261. We've lost Roots and a couple of others down near Innsbruck. I have to remember to get out there and jump online. I'll probably be about somewhere. Doing uh, my usual trucking and stuff. I'll probably be in my Volvo. That's unusual for Shaq. He's normally pretty busy. I mean, he's probably doing other things as well within TMP, so I don't know. Don't know what he's actually doing. There won't be many other people about until they get down to uh, one of the towns, I think. But Port Lincoln is currently a uh, one ship operation at the moment. Yeah, which I don't mind actually. I'm quite happy with it being like that. I ain't got to worry about having to hire and fire people. Deal with things. Unlikely. But so, the chances are somebody might nick me Port Lincoln name. Which I don't want. Because once you leave a VT can't get it back.
me on my gripe with um, players. You just need to be a little bit uh, more careful on the road. I think half the uh, bands that people get is purely because they're not paying attention. That's half the problem, I think. Inattentiveness. I don't think any, most of the accidents are actually deliberate. Well, they're not accidents. Accident is the wrong word to use. Well, I don't think most of them are intentional. I think most of them is purely. Ne pure negligence half the time. Uh, to be honest, I'm, that's a lot more duties involved in that. I'm just, I haven't got the time to, uh, to do all those kinds of work. You know, take it, being a GM takes up a lot of my time. Not only that, I don't want the responsibility. If you get me the GMM, fair enough, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna chase it. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Although I think half of the problem is uh, there's two hours before you can go on to GMP. I think it should be higher than that. I think players as well. Because they're not a little bit more respect for each other. take me to get down there. The job ends in 128 hours 13 minutes time. Do I really, really need to be running around with 110 kilometers per hour to get there? Not really. down at 30 kilometers per hour and I'm still gonna have time to get there. So plenty of time to plenty of time on the run.
Yes, definitely. That and northern everywhere Scandinavia, north of Bergen. Yeah, include the Atlantic Road and the Atlantic Coast Road that goes all the way up the coast. That would be nice. Scotland, yes. In fact, I think most of um, England could do with a um, a bit of a run, a bit of a rework. Ireland, definitely. But at the moment, we rely purely on promos for that. Hi, up, Doxy. How you doing? No. It's been shelved. Quite simply. Um, for as long as um, their little conquest is going on in Ukraine. Where they put it, really? But yeah, uh, Jimmy. And it, for as long as the uh, Russian conquest of Ukraine is going on, there will be no Russia DLC. Hey, watch your second trailer, you! You nearly took me out. Be careful. Next, that'll be good. So we get Albania. Oh, that was 80 k's, and I'm doing 80 k's. What's the bloody rush? in with the heart of Russia DLC afterwards. You know, kind of add to it. Yeah, that would be nice. And I think eventually they will get that done. But it all depends on what the uh, situation is with regards to that area. As to whether they can actually get there, photograph it and do it. 
But I did see one thing that uh, Russia we are is struggling to uh, maintain vital uh, infrastructure, such as, such as supplying water in the eastern Donbass region. Because they've destroyed the pipes and pumps and... You can't exactly supply water when you've blown all the pipes up. Sanitation near Russia. We are still ugly for sanitation in Russia because you've blown it up. Mm. Slow down. DLC, probably put Chernobyl in there. Kiev, uh, Kiev in there, Odessa would have to go in there. Uh, Sevastopol would go in there, Crimea would go in there. a completely new game, you know, Australian Trucking Simulator. That would be nice because obviously then you can literally have American trucks, European trucks in the same game. That would be absolutely fantastic. Be a proper, that would be a proper game, although Half the players, myself included, probably could not handle an Aussie double. You know, not, or an Aussie triple, triple road train. You know, three 45 foot trailers. <laughs> Most people couldn't handle that. I think I'd struggle. Two about as me live here, I think. a bit of distance to go. I mean, guys like uh, RTA mods, they love it. Now, anybody who likes driving big, uh, serious amounts of metal would love it. But obviously you've got all the licensing stuff to uh, get involved in. But who knows what's around the corner. I think what they want to do first before they bring out uh, a potential Australian simulator. Yeah. But then you get, you, got, you get the crowd doing trying to do 150 kilometers per hour. 110. 
Then would you rather a truck gets wrecked? This game is undrivable. Bang, 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 damn it, damn it, damn it. We can't drive in this game. Slow the fuck down. I mean, Australian truck simulator, you'd have some... You've got the potential for some really strange combinations. Like, uh, AB doubles, quads, B quads. Kenworth K108, Kenworth K100s, K200s, Cascading, no, you don't get the Cascader over there, I don't think. We does have a right hand drive Argosy. What would you get? What scenery would you have over there? Savannah, Scrubland, more Scrubland. Hey, look at Kangaroo. to have a really long um, game scenery table. It's where we are now, I mean, with thick uh, trees to the left and right, it's quite easy just to uh, block it off, because you just put like a, a vertical image like over there. Beyond those trees, there's nothing. Same there. Whereas Australia, because it'd be so flat, you would need to have a really big table for it to work. So that could be a resource issue. But yeah, I'd buy it.
Come on guys, slow it down. Don't do 98 down here, do the speed limit. DLC area. Which I think is uh Yami Scarly, I think that's where the DLC is. Which I think we actually do it. So we might actually discover that town. Hey hey! Finland to go through here. Too close, buddy, in case I get a lag spike. Back off a bit, please. He's overtaking me. Yeah, to my back doors. No need for it. Well, I think definitely with uh, let's get a, let's get American Truck Simulator all sorted out first before we move down south. Maybe not so much Australia, do a New Zealand one. Similar sort of trucks, but New Zealand is a much smaller country to deal with. And then expand it into uh, Australia. But it'd be nice to a New Zealand trucking simulator. Just truck it around those islands. I mean, because obviously yeah, he's got the two islands, I mean, you can certainly make a fair bit of uh, content out of those two islands. break because I need a coffee. Well, as you all guys know, this stream of mine runs on coffee and caffeine. The more coffee I get, the better I go. We're an hour into uh, the journey. So far, and we are still in Finland. It's a big fucking country. Well, what I might do, maybe one weekend, one week I'll do stream. I'll do um, 18 wheels of steel. 
keyboard play game, single player. Graphics are toaster vision. In fact, I think a toaster has better graphics card. Imagine what the game would be like on minimum settings. And then knock it, knock it down a couple of notches. That, that is 18 wheels of steel. Australia, Queensland, uh, New South Wales, and Australia Capital Territory. There's not really much of the op uh, opportunity for SCS to build the content. Same in New Zealand, I mean, just up North Island, South Island. But, of the two countries, New Zealand, I think, gives the more scope for scenery. It's a much more beautiful country. I mean, you've got lush, uh, near-tropical forests on North Island. And on South Island, you've got the Southern Alps, which are like epic mountains. Scenery most epic. I mean, sure, the trucks in us in New Zealand aren't as big as uh, their Australian counterparts. You know, their B doubles only have. Uh, 25 feet of deck space per per trailer. So you're not going to be having massive uh, trucks. I mean, you also as well, you got shorter units as well.
patient guy trying to get around me. I'm not speed up for him, fuck that. Speed him 80 down here, I'm doing 80. People like that, you know, who don't understand the truck speed limit. And then when they wonder, get, they wonder why when they crash, they get banned. Why are you banned me, admin? I was doing, I was only doing a hundred and ten. down to the island, I'll get down to Helsinki. Fuel, probably fuel bin. On the outskirts of Helsinki. Got half a tank. But I'm not rushing, I'm not rushing for anybody. I drive at my speed, I drive at my pace. You know, if you want to get by, you overtake me safely and legally. Simple as that. Yugoslavia, former republics, uh, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, Kosovo, uh, Slovenia, I don't know, I don't know. Not actually that clued up on the former Yugoslavia. But, there is then, uh, you know, the possibility as well to have plenty of scope for scenery. I mean, you've got Split, Dubrovnik. But you're moving further south. I mean, you've got Albania. I mean, Albania is probably the most poorest country in Europe. around the country, I mean, uh, the former dictator of Albania was paranoid. He made, like, little uh, fortifications all over the country. It was frightening that the Italians invaded him. You know, what the Italians got to invade him with? Spaghetti? Oh, but me, uh, we uh, should deal with our spaghetti, huh? Uh, we'll do the up Luigi and the Mario on you.
still think the bait that you with the Mario Brothers. Look it up on the uh, when I get down to Helsinki or something like that. You know, Super Mario Kart. You know, what? Luigi was one, who was the other? <laughs> you don't know, that's too big, two of us. Look it up for us, JC. If you can't, please, bud. Yeah, it was one of those games which kind of everybody who had a Game Boy might have had a Super Mario. Although, either Super Mario or Tetris. I, mean, I had Tetris. I also want to say the Master System. Didn't run the Mega Drive, I had the Master System, which is like the next one down. Still had Sonic the Hedgehog. Now in Helsing, on the uh, approach to Helsing. There's Helsing. Yeah, Tetris is a game for old truckers because sometimes you know, it's like when you're loading freight up, it's like, yep, you're having to play a giant 3D Tetris. Bit to here. Does this bit here fit? Nope. Does this bit fit? No, nope. but well, this bit does. Oh, but then this bit doesn't. Grab ourselves a cup of coffee when we get to the house in Kentucky on. And also I need to turn the light on it's getting quite dark in here. I can do it like a little uh, LED really light shine down on my uh, control unit. Shine the buttons on backlit. That would be nice.
what I've been doing with uh, two-way rocker switches. That'd be nice. Symbols on like lights, hazards. Because my razor keyboard, I mean, that's badly. Well, poor things in the vice. Maybe have a deluxe option with uh, like little because sure it's all right, nice with looking with those buttons. But I think rocker switches would like would make it look a little bit better. Well, you probably lose some functions on it. Welcome to Helsinki, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to go up and go the other way around. Because there's a bit of road up here that I don't think I'll be scoping. That's this way in. Oh, we have actually on this profile. If you've got doubles, this is the probably the better way to go into Helsinki Dockyard. I've already had to stop using my gear shift, the SKRS, because I've got, physically, I've got no room for it. Turns off the boys' uh, side stick. Ah, forget that. Does it come to a stop? It bloody change green. Uh, I use auto mode. I used to. I did try it. In fact, if you go through my channel, there's a video of me uh, trying to do it. It's like first, second, third, fourth, coming down, third. Fuck. So there's actually a video of me trying to do that in uh, ATS. 
I did actually master it in the end, but uh, it's not easy. Well, I use auto most of the time now. Because that's basically all, all your modern trucks nowadays are auto. Even, even the new Peterbilts come with auto options. Right, I'm going to go downstairs now and get myself a, uh, a brew, a cup of coffee, have a nature break, and I'll be back in a moment. In the meantime, let's put, the web, let's put you on top of the webcam, shall we? Uh, there'll be a sudden, probably a sudden loss of sound whilst I... Uh, do this because well, I'm going to have a look at the Helsinki oh, what was that ah a warning off YouTube the stream's current bit rate is 2697.7 and kbps is lower than the recommended. We recommend you using a weight of 45,400 bit rates. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll keep with that one. Yeah. Uh, I think what it is, you've got a, a 500 RPM rev split on the 18 speed. So if you do that, and kind of work to that, you should be able to do it. Right, let's have a look at the... Helsinki webcam. Helsinki, Helsinki, Helsinki cameras. G. It's a live stream. Port of Helsinki. Where on earth is the uh, camera? Uh, it's that one there. Ah, right, okay. Stop there. I think I know where where it is. So if I go into my game, uh, so that's building there is the one I was looking at. So I think he's got the tram stop. Ah, it's. Apparently it's there. <laughs> because if you go to Port of Helsinki web, uh, Port of Helsinki's webcam, it's about there. Because you can see the the other complex about there. It's not totally accurate, but uh, I think it's about there. <laughs> right, coffee time.
I'm back with some coffee and some toast.
So we'll disable those keybinds. I'm going to leave the axles up. Let's go here. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Keybind. Keybind. Debind. 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 I'm surprised I've not seen players driving around like that. And this also works in the scope as well. Well, I think SES needs to turn that rate down. Hmm. Which one, the old one or the new one? Yeah, the old R series or the new R series? The R series is two. There's the original 2009 Streamline variants, which are the same basic cab. And there's the next gen. If you ask me, I think the next gen sounds awful. Down south, we don't want to get to travel. We want to get to now. Some of the fifty old power ball. Basically, we are going 
Bentar. Dah. Wah, ini susah sih soalnya. So we could go actually. If you go to travel mode there, we can go pretty much straight down Germany. Let's go this way, pal in. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven countries to travel. Go to Travelmund. So now with that we're in Travelmund, we have got... Yeah, that's where we got to go. But this road here is the new road. So I'll try and get a road down towards Innsbruck, I think. There's uh, Klagenfurt and obviously Quarry, Maribor, Slovenia. I've yet to even discover this place. Woo. So I just cut off several thousand, uh, a couple of thousand kilometers of the trip. So uh, let's get started. We will need fuel. Now this is where the air suspension really comes into its own because as I now come down off here, as you can see this is quite a steep ramp. But down to here. By then, lowering the back rear suspension, and then put the truck down on the floor without it grinding out. And then, That we can then keep the rear suspension off the floor. Now I can reset it. Well, look, where I work, all we've got at our place, we've got some more though, so we are 500 horsepower. Well, might be might be four fifties or four sixties. And I think they're four fifties. Not quite the five for not the five forty, not the five hundred, but like a couple from the top. And they've only got rear air suspension at the back. Front ride on springs. Like my my daff is, uh, only has uh, steel ride at the uh, front and air ride at the back. But I've found that unloading, the, um, if you've got something heavy on, dump the air suspension before you unload. Because what will probably happen is when, uh, you take the, uh, the load off, but because it was so heavy, your bags are over in play. Bang!
Tetanus. kilometers to go. Default the air suspension on the uh, game. Once you get up to a certain speed, resets itself. Well, I've disabled that. I might actually re enable it, I don't know yet. Set it to uh, reset one. Driving uh, off road, I'd probably want the extra ground clearance. Particularly if I'm doing like the Northern Road in Iceland. I mean, it does have its advantages there. But we are now. Uh, in Germany. Western half of Germany, I think. First thing I set up, although I might completely rebind the autos, is just my rear air suspension. Because most trucks drive with just rear only. Now, a guy on Facebook uh, called Brian Davidson, I've asked him to do me a little module for the air suspension on the Wonderlead. I'm going to mount that uh, on top of my uh, up by my farm sim unit. Because I can do it with a smaller butt, like a really small butt, not a butt. Don't think I'm going to get one. This is the Autobahn. Autobahn, ba ba ba, the Autobahn. Which I think was a Kraftwerk song, Autobahn. Looks like it. Ba ba ba, the Autobahn. <laughs> really inventive lyrics. So, take it up to 80Ks. I'll just sit back and enjoy the drive through Germany. Possibly. I have absolutely no idea. But it's a switch box, so no reason why it shouldn't. Bexel should tell you, but I don't think it's um, would make any difference because at the end of the day, I mean, the mouse still works on Windows 11. A keyboard still works on Windows 11. Your printer probably should do. Although that has a hard software driver. So 
it should should still work on Windows 11, I would have thought. Brandenburg. In a bit, I'm going to leave you. That was the end of the tank. Next, when I get to. Uh, rest area, I'll have a look. Well, I think it should. But I don't want to say yes or no unless I'm absolutely 100% certain. Because otherwise, if it doesn't work, you've just wasted 170 quid. But if your wheel does, Show your button box, will. One point five kilometers to a rest area. I'll be able to pull over there and have a look. Some dino piss. Get me down there. So, to answer your question, does the box work with Windows 11? Uh, does it work with Windows 11? Let's have a look. Uh, again, the game audio will probably go mute. Uh, system requirements. Well, it says here, Windows 10, 8, uh, one point, uh, No, it's my shouldn't do. Let's have a look. That's one hundred and twenty nine. Sorry. Uh, this is Reddit. Do, 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 do. Uh, somebody was asked on Reddit. No uh, responses yet. Uh, let's have a look. Somebody's 
somebody is asking about that in German. Uh, so let's see. Detect language. Aha! Right. A post by uh, this is on Logitech Heavy Equipment Side Panel, uh, Giant Software. Uh, a guy called uh, T. Condling asks, "Ich habe eine neue Rakete. Okay, I have a computer which uses, of course, Windows 11." LS22 works perfectly so far. Unfortunately, Logitech products, uh, e.g. heavy equipment, can't be. What can I do for Logitech not making product fit for one? Right. He goes on saying it can't be used. Indian Spirit, uh, hi, I use Win11 myself and the side panel, uh, just plugged it in and it works freely. Uh, you can freely set the assignments. Counts normally as a game, but extra drive is not required. So, looking at that, it can be used. So it looks like you might be in luck. Uh, so look at Lighty Tech. Few the frequently asked questions, so it might be able to help me there. Uh, because I'm not, I don't think mine actually has a driver for it. I just plugged it in and it worked. So, what I will do. Don't have an account. Right, contact uh, support.
Oh, just in the... Uh, skip a step. Is it classed as a mouse? No. Mm, controls. Ah, got it. Talk to an agent. <laughs> Uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll probably get an email response in a bit. So I'll turn that down. I'm, I'm actually in contact with uh, Logitech Direct. <laughs> so this might take a bit. This might take a while. I've just got a response already, so I'm just going to just stick it here for a moment.
Right, I'll probably... Right. Don't... Somebody just uh, spoke to me. With regards to this question, they're gonna... Yeah, the thing is though, what with... Windows. If the thing doesn't need any driver... It should be alright. It's just like a mouse. I think it's pretty much plug and play. But if your wheel works with um, the game, can't see why. Hey, up, Alex. Uh, I'm in Germany. I'm just uh, heading down to uh, Slovenia, Maribor. I just had to pull over and get in touch with Logitech support. Uh, I'm going to Maribor. Uh, hang on, that's where I'm going to. Yeah, I've just got in touch with... Shouldn't be. It's just a peripheral device. It's oh. Please remove your email. Right. I'll no doubt I will receive an email shortly. email and go yes or no. Well, I think it will. But I'm no expert so if Logitech say it will work then Logitech will know better than me. Because Logitech make the bloody thing. So if it does work on Windows 11, good to go all in Gidori. You're welcome, bud. I mean, 
I'm just gonna stay on Windows 10 for a, quite a while. why it shouldn't work on uh, Windows uh, 11. South of Berlin on the uh, on uh, the A9. Uh, map tab. My next town I'm going to be passing is Leipzig. So probably Leipzig. Unless of course you can. Uh, Yeah, spawn in at Leipzig and make your way down to uh, the first petrol station south of Leipzig. Generate yourself a load to uh, RKW in Maribel. I'm not rushing. Yeah, I'm nice and steady. What a nice, quiet, empty autobahn. Have a good trip, Cargo Trust. Have a good trip. Take care, be safe. Oh, good, 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 good.
to get to. Uh, I'll have a look to see if I have got a response. I've got no audio on my uh, receiving audio on my CB, so I probably won't be able to talk to you. Well, five people on my channel, welcome in. I said, we're going to go down to Maribor. I mean, this will probably have a bit bloody now, but. Uh, about two hours. So. Not there yet, Alex. Well, uh... Shit, I got straight past Leipzig! Run, but you can't hide. <laughs> oh dear. You may try, but you also may fail. It does. 
I probably could if I wasn't streaming on YouTube because I would be on the tab because you wouldn't know where the hell I was. <laughs> yeah, no, there's Discord. It tells you some stuff. Well, that's why. Magic. Also. Okay, you're 65. You're... Ah, there you are. Don't mind the illegalness, just just compromising. Oh, what? this can't be, This is a photo opportunity. Yar. <laughs> I matched your truck just so just just <laughs> because of that. Let's get us off straight up. What's your idea here? Let you park up for a bit. Looks, uh, is that good for you? Yeah, I think that would be okay. Uh, let's take my time off. Let's go to uh, photo studio, photo mode. Straight it up. There. Uh, Shoot loose. Now back up as you were, as you were. Get your get your trailer straight as well. I swear this paint job, Alex, it used to have um, a logo on the back of the cab. I swear it did. Yeah, and you're using the... The issue with your trail is the very reason why I don't use the exclusive lights. <laughs> you just rip one off. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Wait. I sort of just threw this truck together quite quickly so I could get to you. I was, uh, if I had the chance, I would make it a bit more pimp. But I just, I just threw it together. I didn't really look much at it before I drove down here. No, you're not done too bad. I hurt my ass here. Yeah, you've not done too yeah, bad. I, I mean. I was I was gonna put some pipes on, but I didn't know if it had it or I was gonna get here in time. That's what I was really worrying about. Cause well, you could run away. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's have a look where we are. If we swing by. Funny, I really need to uh, do your truck a bit like this uh, as a comp, like try to set it up so it like look alike in a way, or something. I need to figure that out. But we'll take yeah, it from, we'll figure that out when I get to somewhere where I can pimp it. Once we get to, uh, well, what we could do, there's a squiggly road. Yeah, well, we, I've got a question for you. Hang on, Alex, hang on. You're competing with the music. I'm a, you don't show up on my tab menu. Why is that? That's because I'm logged in as admin. <laughs> uh, let's just say that's a perk of the job. <laughs> oh, that's why. Uh, it's then if then if you disable it, then yeah, then I won't be able to. Or uh, I believe last time I was able to do it, but and that's. What company are you delivering to? Down in the uh, Maribo, whatever the place uh, is. It's going to called. LKW. Oh, by the way, you have a really interesting GPS. It just says GPS. <laughs> what do you mean? Or uh, if you look at my uh, stream, Alex, you'll see. You'll see why. 
two minutes just loading up YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. Okay, zoom a bit in so I can see it. Hold on. Ah, oh, now I see it. <laughs> nice. Uh, whereas my one should actually have a uh, display book on it. And my one, the GPS isn't even lit up. Right, I guess we'll, should we finish this job and then I can kind of see if I can tune my truck a bit like yours? You're gonna hate me. Why's that? I might have been down the Kirkenese Quarry Road yesterday when there was like 80 people on it. That was interesting. Yeah, 80 idiots more like. <laughs> I mean, Promods actually has a lot of people on today, which is surprising. I've been yeah, toddling the around in the 105. The, that road, in, uh, that new road that they put in, isn't attracting many yeah. players on Promods. It has or it hasn't? No, the new road in Austria, that new uh, winding road. Yeah, it had. Not on Pro Mods. Oh. Pretty empty on Pro Mods. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Hold on, whatever you feel. Let's see, so, after this trip, are you going to do another trip, or what are you going to do? I don't know yet, depends how I feel. But after this, I want to try to tune my this old gen, like the new gen you have, so it looks similar in a way, and then like, then you can always get a side-by-side -side view in too, the old and the new gen, just for the heck of it. How heavy are you? Uh, how heavy am I? Not heavy. It's only a nine-ton cargo. Then I'm a bit more aggressive than you. Oh wait, then I'm a bit more aggressive than you because I have. Alex, 10 tons. can you turn your microphone up? Make yourself a bit louder. Is this better? Uh, you're still very quiet. Mate, I think you have to go on your side and turn up the volume, the voice volume or something. No, that's it. I yeah. have it as loud as can be. Yeah, you've turned yourself up nice now. Before you were really quiet. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be something with your vo uh, voice, uh, how, how loud is on your side, I don't know. Yeah, it's perfect now. Well, that's... Are we doing 90? Uh, technically no, but... It's an auto barn, so it's pretty empty, so may as well. So what speed should I set my truck to? Just put your... Uh, I'm doing, I am doing about 90k, so... Yeah, about 90, I'm having good distance, so that's fine. Yeah, as long as he's not... Uh, as long as he's not sniffing me back doors, because if I get a lag spike, yeah, you got to get a face full of me. Come on, concert roadie, in you come. Go on, 
admit though, uh, Alex, southern uh, Germany is bloody lovely. JT, if there's a uh, response from Logitech, I will let you know. God damn it, it keeps hop. I keep pressing the buttons where it goes up and down in channels. It pisses me off. That's when I look on the map, I accidentally click the other button and then it goes down instead of up or something like that. Yeah, CD's uh, annoying. Move your map keybind or something like that. I promise I've had the same keybind for a couple of years now and I do not like change, so... Just knock it, all you gotta do is move it over the key. But then it will be different for me now, I still keep, keep clicking in thinking it's for map. That's gonna get uh, good to not try to press the other punch beside it. Now what it is, like, you've got, you're like me, you've got fat fingers. <laughs> not really, but it's clumsy fingers. Shit, different day. Yep, pretty much. Have you seen uh, the pictures from the truck show here in Denmark that come to the IRL chat and Fox the server? I haven't had a chance to look yet. I'll probably look later on when we get tonight. Me and Multipa uh, were both at the same truck show. I, I didn't see him, I think. I probably did, but I didn't really know what he looked like. But we were both at the same show, and um, who, there's some who very that? neat Bobos. Multipla, Mult Mult whatever he's called, in Fox server. He was also there. I didn't know when he was there. But oh, he was right. also there at some point in time. Chances are, I probably walked past Fox himself, because uh, we both went to Peterborough. Oh shit, yeah, probably. I asked multiple if we should meet up to say hello for the heck of it, but he said, nah. No, but the, being the funny one, it's like you were uh, photographing a bloody truck. Next to the guy, photographing a bloody truck. And you upload it onto, onto Fox. He loads it up onto Fox. <laughs> You're standing next to him. Yeah. Each other. But, it, but it looks like he was there when it was maybe early in the morning or something, because. It started, I was there at like, 11, my time. Or, yeah, 11 here, and then uh, he might have been there earlier because there was like a bunch of people when I was there, so... If you took a picture, it's a bit hard not to get people in it. Yeah, Peterborough was like that. <laughs> people photobombing, po photobombing the photobombers. Including me. <laughs> <laughs> now there were some decent trucks. I liked it. It was kind of fun. I mean, it was only about 100 or 180 trucks. It, it said it was going to be 300, but it was not that bad. It got boring after a few laps around all the trucks, but... Yeah, when you've only got a small eh, amount bad. of trucks, it does get like that. I mean, uh, I was at Convoy in the park uh, last year, and there was over a thousand there. Yeah. So, if there's a game moderator, they technically don't show up on the tap menu, is that right? Yeah, if we logged in, we don't show up. So, if I can't see a player on the tap menu, there's a big chance that that player is a game moderator. Very likely. Also, or possibly another member of staff. So, I don't know if uh, all the ranks do that. I'll keep that in mind. Now I, now I know if I see a player and that shit, and that I can't see the tap menu, I should not be stupid. No, you shouldn't be stupid. Eddie. Well, I'm not, but you never know. Sometimes you do something by mistake. I am quite clumsy, after all. Yeah, <laughs> we know. 
Oh, that guy just took out the gargoyle. <laughs> yeah, my dad started to oh, walk a bit more and move a bit more about. Not much, because he, because the, um, I believe it's the left leg uh, that he landed on or that side of the pelvis. So, so he can only support himself on the right leg, I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be in pain for us some time to come. Yeah, it's painful, it's just he gotta watch out not to make the fracture bigger. That's the thing. But, the longer he goes on and takes it light, the easier it will be. Yeah, he's basically just gonna take it easy for some time. Be back on the road in no time. Probably so what, work a boy, couple of months. Some, like, put him on containers or easy duties for a bit. Nah, nah, they only do tippers, so he won't do anything but tippers. In that case, he might have, uh, go back to work for a bit. They won't, they'll give him office duties for a bit. Because he's nah, driving nah. around on a rough it's only, side. It's only... That's the worst thing he's got. He'll want. Yeah, but I think what he's gonna do is just stay home until he knows everything's gonna be sure. Maybe, I don't know, but at that time I might go with him the first day he's out just in case or something, just because, well, I can practically help him with everything. Yeah, Yeah, because, well, I think it was. Maybe in a week or two times he can come home, but he has to use, like, walking or something. Because he's he he's a walking he can't frame. Yeah, but it's because he can't. If he puts too much weight on one of the legs, it can hurt his injury even worse, make it even worse. Yeah. Although a few years ago, I uh, pulled a muscle on the side. I felt like someone just shoved a bloody foot, uh, a steak knife in my side. I just ripped all the muscles. I did that trying to pick up a bloody truck tire, believe it or not. I thought this twinge, a little ow. That was on the Tuesday. Wednesday was like, yeah, a little bit big. And Thursday as well, it felt like somebody had put a knife inside me. It was like, oh my god, it was painful. So I rings up work, knocked me into work today. It took me an hour just to put my trousers on because I was in that much pain. What was it you hurt? What was it you uh, pulled a muscle? A uh, hit or something? I pulled a oh, muscle. Oh, yeah. Uh, picking a tire up. That's bad. Yeah. Uh, no joke, an old age pensioner on a bloody, with a bloody walking frame would walk faster than me. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. So the medical staff, um, they put me on Tomazepam for a week. I'm like, no way am I driving with that shit inside me. No way. Yeah. yeah take two pills. Uh, take two pills twice a day was on the medical unit. One pill. <laughs> yeah, my dad's kind of like that too, right now with all <laughs> you know, his If that's what face. one does, what the hell are two gonna do? Jeez! Make you sleep for a week. One knocked me out. Second's gonna knock you out for a month. Because uh, I'm not driving with that because uh, it was a muscle relaxant. Sleeping, he put uh, tomatoes about in sleeping pills. Yes, yeah. I need to say, I was off work for a full week. But, I mean, if you just take it easy, let it heal, then it's, and then make sure everything's fine, then it'll be back again. Because, yeah. I'm all yeah, right now. It just happens with tippers. But, yeah, uh, it's stuff like that happens. Danger with trucking. Yeah, it is. I mean, the worst was when you try to pull, because uh, the work I do sometimes have to uh, pull stuff on the pallet truck. But when you've got a pallet that weighs about a ton and a half, and you try to pull it on a pallet truck, no wonder you get bloody injured. Give me some, hang up. 
three, two, one. <laughs> Switzerland might be the next update. Or not revamp, sorry. Possibly, but be after be after Bog. I'm gonna if, if you see me itching close to your ass, I'm gonna test them. What are you doing? Playing around or something. JT, I think I should be very nervous. I've got a truck driver sniffing my back doors. This could end badly. This happened to me once before on the Cali Duisburg Road. There's a guy up behind and he's sniffing me back doors. Next thing you know, he's inside my back doors and we no, both there's go that flying. adaptive cruise control they've added where you can enable in command, so I was gonna try to mess around with it, but I don't know, it doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Adaptive cruise control? When did they put that in the game? That's just something in early beta testing and the uh, uh, command, so I'm trying to see if it gets work, but I can't. Oh, hang on. I think if for it to work, I need to slow down. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, wait, wait. No, I just don't. Hold on. Right, on the next straight bear road, yeah, you put your cruise control on. Yeah. Maintain this, and I'll just knock the cruise control off. Yeah, but it doesn't like break. I don't think. Don't just forget it, cause I don't want to bother with it. It should. It should actually maintain it if it works properly. It should actually maintain your it, distance. It's it's in beta. I won't bother with it right now, cause I don't know if it's something about it doesn't work. Maybe on TMP or something. I don't wanna. Yeah. Just, just go, it's fine. It'll probably come out soon anyways, the next 1.45 or something. Well, Toast uh, put a video out and it was working then. Yeah, but that was in single player. Well, if it's a single player, it should work in multiplayer. What other features do? Well, don't forget, it's got to work in convoy mode. Yeah, it's set to 40. Are you doing 90? Yeah. Arcade on the arcade service. Hold on, I'll be right back. 
I wouldn't park there, park in the rest area, Alex, if you can. Yeah, but I gotta, I'll just use my truck here, hold on, grab it. Want to be careful doing stuff like that? You know, if you know you need that, need that exit, pull behind and merge behind. Don't dive across. to go.
Nice run to uh, Innsbruck next. Finish off tonight, I think. Slovenia. Donald's ahead of us. I'm surprised though they haven't promo, they haven't been put in like uh, KFC. What was the other one? It's KFC, Burger King, Donald's. Kimmy's. There's actually Tim Hortons in uh, Birmingham. That they built a uh, boss house. I was going to a place I was no observers. So I was like, Fuck at me! A Timmy's! <laughs> I was not expecting to see a fucking Tim Hortons in Wolverhampton. <laughs> Wolverhampton was block, um, built in there, isn't it? The Black Country. I'll have to take a photograph of it next time I'm down that way and send it to a truck and charge. 
You've sent them over here. Uh, 40. Yeah, that's what he wants us. I do like the new Libby Valkyrie, though. But... I don't think it needed the arrows on the front uh, of the trailer. Oh, they could have but they could have done that a bit better. So it actually faces the uh, the arrows actually point forwards. I mean that would have been better. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. Ah, that's why. Caught the uh, point. Off button for me, a bloody control. Make a fucking big zero of this. Wait for Alex to meet up with us now. Uh, point, okay, I'll check my whilst I'm waiting, I'll check my email. Nothing has come through yet, anyway. Uh, however, I've got the new sound pack from Zmods. So I don't need that, don't need that, don't need that.
Did it work, Alex, or not? Yes, it's the Cummings one. And it's got an open def file as well. So that's going to go on a DAF. <laughs> I've already got one of me uh, 105s. It's already got a uh, rather smart uh, C16 shoved inside it. With a thousand horsepower. <laughs> Try again, Alex. Yeah, it is. Very easy to do. Go to the open death file. In fact, I'll do it now, actually. You go into your open death file. So, open the archive. You then go to death, vehicle, truck. Piece of three at nine, engine. And where it says, that's common. And where it says uh, Peterbilt 389, just rename it. Just something like DAF XF or Volvo FH.
Und dann, ja. And then, and then I can just tweak and alter these engine brake settings, like 3 to 1, for example. Yeah, just change that around. It's quite easy to do. Oh, he actually has the. Uh... Yeah, and it's only the signature six hundred as well. So, 600 horsepower is what you're going to get. Or a 1,000 horsepower. You can just chuck that into... Uh, copy. Mod. Paste. Now I'll activate those once I've finished the game and we'll see what we get. That will be that. Right then, I think I'm going to call that a night. Thank you guys for following me on this lovely little trip. It's taken us... Uh, we've actually done a stream over three hours long. Wee! So, I think that we can call that a uh, successful night. So, play out the outro too. And I will see you next week. Yeah, it was. It was a lovely journey.